Hi there everyone, welcome back if you're returning. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, hello and welcome. And I really hope you do come back. So, a quick bit about me before I begin this message. I am a seer, so I tap into past, present, future energies. I'm a psychic medium and a healer and I'm an open channel for spirit. So whatever comes through, comes through in these messages. But chances are, if you've been guided here, you might be a twin flame. Because I'm a twin flame myself and all my messages are twin flame related right now. At least for the time being. So if you've been guided to this channel for any reason, I hope it's to find some answers that you're looking for. So hello and welcome. And hello to everyone who's been subscribing. It's a true honour for me that you take the time to hit subscribe. And for all the people that leave me comments every day and all the likes and the shares... I'm truly, truly blessed to get to know so many wonderful people as well. For all the people who contact me via email, thank you for all your prayers. Thank you for all your well wishes, your good wishes as well. The ones that say that they're sending so much love and light and Reiki healing and everything. I'm just overwhelmed by the love and appreciation this channel gets. So thank you so, so much. And I just want to reiterate again, this channel would not be the way it is, it would not be steadily growing, slow and steady wind race, it wouldn't be growing so steadily and in such a beautiful way without you guys, it's your beautiful energy that makes this channel what it is, so thank you all so, so very much. So I'm going to begin as I always do, calling in my protection for myself and for you, as well as my divine guidance. Calling in my heavenly ancestors, my spirit guides, the archangels of love and light. Excuse me. <laughs> oh my goodness. And the ascended masters of the highest pure divine light. I call you in now for your love, guidance and protection throughout as I bring forward a clear message for the collective. Archangel Michael, can you please surround my children, my dog, my home and myself in a golden bubble of God's protective light at all times? As I bring forward this message for the collective, can I also ask that you surround whoever watches this message online, surrounding them, their loved ones, their home and pets, in a golden bubble of God's protection also. Thank you, Archangel Michael. She knows. <laughs> Archangel Metatron, can I please ask that you stabilise the connection between myself and spirit? ensuring that only clear and concise messages can come through for the collective's highest and greatest good at all times. Thank you, Archangel Metatron. Sending love, light and gratitude to you all. And so it is. It's so strange. Uh, my light flickered there, I think. Um, Hopefully. <laughs> So let's say that so it's the last it's the last stages. Well let's see where we go. Hopefully it lasts this message. So I'm gonna clear the energy and then I'll let you know where we're going with this message. Okay, so the song I'm hearing tonight is We've only just begun to live We've only just begun to, I don't know all the like, sorry I think it was Karen Carpenter, We've Only Just Begun so there's someone here who feels your lives are just about to begin together. Now, I don't usually do the past life cards twice, um, one night after the other. But today, during my meditation, I was getting a lot of past life um, visions and stuff coming through. Now, there's something about Native American energy. But I also saw... 
you know, um, one of those masks that they wore, like the big long pointy, they're quite scary looking. It was like a gas mask that had a big long pointy beak thing on it and I think doctors wore that to attend patients. Now I saw someone wearing that, um, but I feel it was for medical purposes. So this is either someone who was a doctor um, in a past life who wore that during that kind of time. Now I'm not sure of the time period that that was worn. Um, I think it might have been at like some sort of cholera outbreak or something, or um, I, I'm not too sure. But there was, it was th that mask that the doctor, the doctors wore back then. So this is either somebody who was dealing with a doctor that wore that for whatever. This is someone that could have taken a health issue from a past life. Now the energy I'm also getting is I was getting a lot of um, Egypt energy. I was also, there's also been some Celtic energy today because I, I, I got a leprechaun um, energy coming through in my meditation today. So it's just a sign someone could have Irish roots here or this is just someone who's going to be blessed by the leprechauns here with luck. But um, I do feel there's somebody here who is, a, who has a phobia of dying alone. Now this could be something to do with what I saw in my vision of the, the person in the big pointy mask. This could be someone who, who did end up dying alone in the past life and in this lifetime they're really worried about, um, sorry, just a little orb just got there. Um, and in this lifetime they're a bit worried about that as well or they were worried about that. Um, you know, they could have had abandonment issues or something. So, Oh, and before I forget, um, thank you for the person that emailed me the lyrics to On Top of Old Smokey, but I actually Googled it as soon as I finished the reading last night, and wow, a few things that stood out to me, sorry, my nose is tickly, a few things that stood out to me was the song is about someone who regrets not courting their true love. They regret not courting the one they actually loved, and they regret choosing a false-hearted lover. Now, my message last night was about someone who was stuck in a karmic situation or who was walking away from a false um, karmic situation. Excuse me, to go towards their true love. So that was, but the other thing that I picked up on when I was reading about that song was um, I had, I remember I, I was, um, felt John Grizzly Adams came through and now he was, he was connected to the British settlers as well. But that particular area where the Smoky Mountains are was the the Scottish and the Irish all built homes there and I got the Celtic card last night so this could have been some someone um in the past life reading last night I did could have connections to the Smoky Mountains they could have been one of the Irish or Scottish settlers there so and that was a really interesting connection as well but that song definitely was about someone who regrets not courting with true love and picking a false lover so that's, that was interesting. But yes, thank you everyone. I'm getting through the emails as well. And well, I'm still working on emails from two weeks ago. So I'm getting closer, thank goodness. But um, I will get around to your email this week. I promise. So can I get some past life cards, please, on this energy I'm picking up on? I'm sorry for the very long intro, but I felt I had to, to get that in there. Okay. Biblical and wisdom. So this is somebody who could be a very prominent figure throughout biblical history. Someone who is very, very powerful wisdom. Now, as I say, I was getting the energy of someone who did not want to, who had some sort of fear of being alone. Oops, one card just flipped over. Okay, so this is this could be a love connection from biblical times. And this couple are both very powerful, um, very wise leaders. Could definitely be an authority figures. Anything else please you want to tell me about this couple coming through, please? So that song, we've only just begun. So this person saying, this is only the beginning. Now, this person could have ran from the connection. They could have been your twin flame runner. But they definitely could have, um, this person could just have ran from you because they had such strong feelings for you and they thought that if they got too attached to you or something like that, 
Um, but let me see, I'll get some from some in the, the tag for the moment. Anything else you want me to know about this? Now, this could be someone who, as I say, took health conditions. Well, there's Authority Figures card, I was feeling. So this is Authority Figures, Biblical Times, Powerful Love Story, Powerful Wisdom. So, you know, 5D and above wisdom. Somebody who definitely has a fear of being alone or being left alone. So it's almost like they try not to love people because they think they're going to lose them or something. I mean, I was saying die alone, but it could be to do with that as well. If they had sort of health conditions or medical conditions from a past life as well. But yes, yeah, someone definitely got a fear of abandonment or being alone. Well, that's the Egypt energy, I feel. Um, okay. Train spotter, somebody who likes to watch trains, who likes, who's fascinated by, maybe they've got some model railways or something. Um, you know, they, they have a real, they like to go to these model railway shows and things like that, or they like to build model railways. High priest and high priestess energy. And that's why I was saying, because when I saw this card, I immediately thought train spotter, um, which doesn't normally come through, um, you know, or this is something to do with aviation. Aviation planes during the war. Somebody could have been, could have worked with aviation during the war, either World War One or World War II. Ooh. So food and hunger and vows. Now this could have been somebody who took a vow f of um, like hunger or something like that. This could be someone who, when these cards come out together, this tells me someone may have went on hunger strike or something, or something like that. Something someone could have, or this is to do. I mean. The vows can literally be vows to God as well. This could be someone who maybe um, fasted to do with God because we got the, the monk or nun card here as well. This could be someone who made vows um, and they maybe starved themselves. Um, now who, who was it that did that? I read something about that. Somebody... I did a past life reading a month or so back and somebody actually was one of the kings. It might have been Romulus or something like that. Um, they actually they actually um, starved themselves for weeks and weeks and weeks to bring themselves closer to God. So this could be someone who's literally done something like that. So just, we've, we've got biblical, um, this is biblical love. So I feel this is a love story from biblical times, but just a love story that's carried on from biblical times. Authority figures, somebody does have a very um, strong fear of abandonment. I felt that. Um, Egyptian energy, definitely coming through. Someone who has got some sort of fascination with trains, train spotting, or they love traveling by train, or they like building model trains. Vows and hunger, so someone may have starved themselves. Atlantis. Generally, when I see the Egypt card, I know the Atlantis card is going to follow, and vice versa. Um, for me, Atlantis and Egypt kind of come hand to, can come hand in hand, um, because a lot of the Atlanteans helped um to build the pyramids and things. Male to female, so again, this is some. This is a twin flame couple that has switched around roles in past lives. Now I did see the health card there. Should just have left it out because it wanted to come out. But so this definitely could be someone who, um, was dealing with one of those doctors. So scribe or writer. Now when I get the scribe or writer card coming out with the biblical card and readings, it generally makes me. It generally makes me think about um, somebody who might have written something during biblical times. 
Now this is strange because I was getting um circus energy today you know like kind of P.T. Barnum energy. Now he was a writer as well. Um, he was a writer and he was and he was very um in fact I read a quote from him um before and he was connected to John Grizzly Adams actually. He he wrote a quote about um the way people were treated, like when he was trying to abolish slavery. This is I think P. T. Barnum. He was trying to abolish slavery and he was saying that no one should be treated any different because inside the body is an immortal soul and every immortal soul has been created by God. So he was saying um, nobody should be treated any different for their, their packaging, let's say, because everyone, you know, your skin tone, your your race, your sex. Um, he Because he was saying inside we're all one. We're, we're all an immortal soul within our body. And that was P.T. Barnum that said that. But he was he was a writer. It's just when I see this, I was made me think about... Um, and circuses were known for using trains to travel about as well. It's strange that I just suddenly felt that energy there. So, okay, let's see. And P.T. Barnum did have communal living. See, circus. Travel, circus, trains. P.T. Barnum did have, of course, um, I only know from watching The Greatest Showman, <laughs> Showman with Hugh Jackman. <laughs> But he did have a very beautiful love story with his childhood sweetheart, um, Charity. So the forgiveness card is coming out in karmic relationship. So somebody needs to forgive a karmic situation here from past lives. Now it could, doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. It can be, you know, a parent or something. It can be a mother or father karmic situation. But let me see. Anything else before I get some tarot in this? As I say, I did not expect to have to do a past life reading tonight, but it was want to come out. So a card just put the deck down here. So farm and Greco Roman. So this could have been somebody who um had some sort of farm holding during Greco Roman period. Um this could have been someone who had quite a that this could have been when this person maybe um had some sort of religious connections to a farm during the Greco-Roman times. Like this person could have lived like as a bit of a, a nomad. Anything else? <laughs> Galactic. So again, I just saw the health card. So this person definitely has health issues um, that they could be healing from right now. Yeah. So again, I just saw the health card. This person definitely could have some sort of health issues. So this is biblical. Um, I should have refreshed them all before I put them all back in. But we, we kind of get the gist. This is somebody who was a writer, a scribe, biblical times, something about communal living, traveling, trains. Again, I was feeling kind of circus energy, um, P.T. Barnum kind of energy. Um, this person has a fear of abandonment. This person... Um, clearly had some sort of health issues in my past life that I feel that they've brought through to this lifetime that they could be healing from now. What else did we see? Yeah, biblical, male to female, yeah, we saw that as well. Egypt, Atlantis, wisdom, karmic situation needs forgiven, vows for vows regarding hunger, which I think is probably something to do with God, somebody, you know, who's been fasting for God. Look what was upside down the deck. Remember I told you I thought there was something about aviation during the war? And this card was literally upside down like that. Um, yeah, this, that I do feel there was something to do with kind of aviation during the war or something. Someone could have flown a plane or, and their ships wanted to come out as well. So there's definitely something a lot about travelling for this person in past life. So um, this person could always be ready to move. Um, this person, as I say, could have Irish descent. Um, but this could just be telling me there's luck. the luck is on the side of this couple now. 
So let's see. Let's get some tarot on this. This is an interesting one tonight because I'm feeling it's... But the fact this person's saying we've only just begun this, I feel this masculine is... If he's not just reached out to you, feminine, I think he's just about to because the fact he's saying we've only just begun to laugh. I think this masculine is now fully awakened. Let me see. Two of fire. So this person has been stuck. Now, I don't want to say stuck. I feel this is just someone who's, who was trying to decide which direction to take. Now both directions could have could lead back to you, feminine. So don't let don't let me um confuse things here too much because this could have been someone who was just deciding look, whatever path I take is going to lead to my divine feminine. But I need to make some sort of preparation here. So I feel this was someone who was preparing to take the 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 best course of action as opposed to I think both I feel that both paths lead to you. So ten of air. So there has been some sort of betrayal here as well. Now either this um, either this masculine got betrayed or they betrayed your trust in some way. Why are the ten of air here for this person? Now I believe this was when this masculine was unawakened because in fact um, he's, he's, he's awake now. He's going through an awakening, I feel that. Um, so in an un unawakened state, he definitely, yeah, see the tree of fire. He's definitely planning and preparing to move forward with something here after betrayal. Can you tell me more about the Ten of Air? That's too many. Can you tell me a bit more about the Ten of Air here, please? Why is the Ten of Air here? Transformation. So it's just saying whatever this betrayal was, it, it caused your person to go through a rebirth, a metamorphosis. I feel like it transformed both of you in some way. This was, you know, I feel a fortune kind of scenario where the, the Ten of Swords had to happen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So they're just, so this masculine's coming in here with Page of Earth. So this is him coming in to say, or her to come in, just switch the roles around, you know the drill by now. They're coming in to say, I messed up. I think we have a future together. We can salvage this. We've only just begun to live our lives. Let's put the past behind us. Let's not waste any more time. We've wasted enough time. And this is coming into a queen of water. Highly intuitive, kind of high priestess energy, um, probably very psychic as well, but very much in love and kind, compassionate person. There is a truth coming in here and this masculine hopes, we've got Ace of Air and Ace of Earth come out together here. So this person is hoping this truth, um, there's some sort of breakthrough of a truth and clarity coming through here. And they're hoping it leads to this beautiful new beginning. This person really wants to offer you something stable. I feel they want to they want to show you that your life's up until this point you haven't really been living until now. Yeah, eight of fire. This person is coming towards you, they're traveling towards you. Now, if this person isn't at a huge distance away from you, I do feel they're at least an hour, at least an hour's drive. Um, possibly more, but I do th think this person is, they don't live on your street or anything like that, is what I'm saying. I do feel there's some distance here. It could just be emotional distance, but I do feel that they, ha they are having to sort of travel towards you, where that's a couple of mo a couple of trains or um, like an hour and a half drive or something. Yeah, this person, so we've got the eight of fire, and the Nine of Fire, and all these cards are progress tonight, so we've got the Two of Fire, then the Three of Fire, now we're getting the Eight of Fire, the Nine of Fire, so everything is progressing forwards here in a really steady pace, so it makes me think that this has, this connection has not been fast, it's, this has been, everything has been moving at a steady pace, which and we all know slow and steady always wins the race, so this person is coming towards you now, and they're getting ready to fight 
for something. They don't, they don't want to give up on you. They don't want you to give up on them. I feel this person saying, we haven't really lived our lives. <laughs> yeah, Emperor just slid right out of the deck quite calmly. <laughs> so I feel that this person is going to come towards you in a very calm way. And I do think they want to speak the truth to you. Now, I'm still unclear of what this Ten of Air was. All I, know, all I know is it put him through a transformation. Um, but this Emperor is coming towards you here. And I'm, I do feel, as I say, like they're going to be saying to you, let's start over. We've wasted too much time dwelling on the past. We've both, we've both been hurt before. We've hurt each other. Because you could both have hurt each other. I mean, it's not always one twin that hurts the other. Sometimes both twins can really send a lot of negative energy towards each other, sometimes unknowingly, but um, I do feel this is going to get to the point where you're both going to have to say, you know, we can we can build so much together here. We can build a legacy together. Um, definitely. Six of Earth, yeah. An equal relationship. Equally balanced. Nobody giving more than the other. Nobody, you know, yeah, I feel this is definitely a situation where where there is going to be more kind of equal give and take in this connection that wasn't there in the past. Justice. Balance again. The scales of balance. You know, this is definitely something that's been balanced out. There could be justice playing out as well. Magician. Now this can be one of two things. This can be justice for a Gemini. Justice for um, something that was done to this couple. It was a bit of a trickster. Because the Magician card is powerful manifestation. But it's also um, can also be trickster energy as well. So the fact that justice came out just before that. Um, now this could just tell me that this couple are now getting justice and manifesting their dream life together. Um, but we'll, we will see. <laughs> Messenger of Water, yeah, this, this mask is coming in with a romantic offer here to start over. And as I say, I keep getting the energy of this person is going to be saying, we, and I, I keep saying we messed up here, so I'm, I'm kind of getting the feeling this is not just all on the masculine or all on the feminine. I feel there was a mutual disagreement here. Um, or both of you said things to hurt each other yeah two of their um it could have caused a lot of confusion and stagnancy within this connection i mean the two of fire was the first card out so this can be unsure of what to think or what to do after maybe some sort of maybe there's some sort of angry confrontation not so much confrontation but angry words said to each other or something like that you know, somebody could have said, fine, well, I'm blocking you then. And another friend's like, well, don't speak to me again or something. But this person's definitely went through some sort of transformation. I do think this person just had insecurities about... Um, so, as I say, this... I When I was doing the past life, I kept on picking up on somebody who was scared of being alone. And for that reason, they tried not to let people get too close to them because they thought if we, if I let them get close, excuse me, if I let them get too close to me, when I lose them, it really, really hurts. And I felt, star. Yeah. I think part of the trouble is you are this person's wish fulfillment. You're everything they could have wished for. Oh, that that's I'm hearing that song. I heard that song earlier. Now I don't know who sings this. If Jules is around, I'm sure she'll jump on this. Um, it's that song. You are so beautiful to me, and I'm sure there was you're everything I wish for or prayed for or something like that. You're everything I need. You are so beautiful. I can't remember who sings it. Van Morrison, maybe? But this, I think that's what scared this person. 
you you were their wish fulfillment or you are their wish fulfillment and I think that's what freaked this person out. As I say, there may have been some angry words between you here because, you know, you felt like maybe this person was just an indecision that caused the betrayal or something. Yeah, seven of you. No, this person did try to, this person did try to walk away from you because you were everything they wanted. And they had a fear of being alone. So they knew that if they, their love, I feel, I feel that their love for you is so strong, they panicked. They did. They didn't, they were scared to lose you. So it's seven of air. <laughs> it's seven, seven. And I saw the seven of cups, might go, so, so seven, seven, seven could be significant. That's spiritual awakening. Mm -hmm. This person, they wanted to invest in you, but they were scared. Two of swords, two of wands. Yeah, there's the seven of water. I just saw that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My stomach goes well. Um, seven of air. Seven of air. Seven of earth. And seven of, seven of water. So this person is now understanding that they should have invested in this connection rather than trying to walk away. Rather than trying to walk away from this love, they should have invested. They've now got clarity right now. As I say, seven, seven, seven is very, is very important. And there's seven again. So sevens are definitely important here. This person wants to apologize for resisting this connection. They want to apologise for putting up so much resistance. Five of Cups. They're deep in regret. Yeah, Tower put them through some sort of transformation. Now this Ten of Swords could just be this. Look, yeah, Ace of Fire literally jumped out. This is divine timing. This is God. This is God. Um... This is going to get those spark plugs out again <laughs> and um, reigniting, firing up the engine. Yeah, God is saying, Let, let's, let's try this again, shall we? Let's, let's start over. God has given this person an opportunity to, to prove themselves now. I feel that. And I do believe this masculine um, is powerfully connected to God. Page of Fire. Yeah, this person's coming in and this person is motivated. Like I am talking about, as I was just talking about the engine raving, I feel this is the engine raving. So this is like God sparking the engine. And now this is the masculine sitting in his hot rod. <laughs> room, room, room. Just ready to come towards you. I feel he's coming in here like... The energy of a golden retriever puppy. He's going to bounce in. He wants. He's. He. Yeah. He regrets a lot here. Yeah. Page of air. There's a message coming in. This person's completely enlightened now. They see the truth of the situation. And when we were in solar eclipse, um, time tomorrow, which is all to do with the sun. Yeah, this person, this person, they know, they know you're their happiness, they know you're their ultimate happiness. Messenger of Earth. Yeah, there's an offer coming in here. This person preparing, planning. We've got the three, oh, a card jumped out and back in again. Definitely indecision from this person. Three of water, nine of water, high priestess and call. Look at that. This person has made a decision. They have made a judgment call to come towards the high priestess, which I, I got in the beginning. There was a high priestess energy and we got that in the past life deck as well. Wish fulfillment and three of cups. Nine of cups, three of cups. Now look at all that, look at all that turquoise. Look at all that, oh my goodness. So, so much Atlantis energy coming through these cards alone. 
Archangel Sandalphon as well. Archangel Sandalphon um, could be helping this couple open up more to their gifts so they can welcome in their blessings and their abundance. I have Archangel Metatron's deck there, but I just I just immediately thought of Archangel Sandalphon when I looked at those cards. So Archangel Sandalphon could definitely be working with this couple, bringing them back towards their happily ever after, their two of water and their six of fire. This partnership is going to be amazing. We've only just begun. <laughs> yeah, the moon. This person is ready to reveal all their emotions to you. The, this person's about to pour their heart out to you. Yeah. <laughs> Ten of water. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is, this is beautiful. This is making me tingle all over. This, uh, I don't even really feel I need to go on much more with this. I mean, I've had, I've had so many beautiful cards for this couple. This masculine, now I haven't, I never really found out what the, the, um, betrayal was, but I do feel that the betrayal was this masculine just turned his back. Um, because I saw the Four of Cups. Can you tell me what this Ten of Air betrayal was here? Okay. King of Air and Queen of Air. Now, either this was two people involved, a King of Air and a Queen of Earth was involved. Um, now, this could, remember, we got somebody had to forgive a karmic from their past life. Now, this could be a mother and father. This could be a mother and father figure. This could be parents. Can you clarify again? The, so, yeah, six of fire, three of fire. They're just saying this masculine is definitely, minerals is tickly like anything. This masculine is definitely preparing and planning to come towards you here for a victorious outcome. The six of fire. I think that's what they're going to tell me about this ten of air. I'll maybe need to get my own deck out um, to have a look. But yeah, Queen of Earth, King of Air. Can you tell me more about why the Queen of Earth and King of Air is the ten of air for this couple, please? So Messenger of Fire. That's effectively Knight of Wands. And remember, I got the Magician card. This could have been, somebody could have been keeping this masculine in this kind of constant, um, not unable to settle down, not give commitment, want to stay um, options open through Dig at the Seven of Clubs as well. This Queen of Earth could have been keeping this masculine and this kind of King of Air energy where he was very cold and unavailable for love or emotions. So there could have been a Capricorn Taurus Virgo um, trying to keep this masculine stuck. Yeah, somebody could have been keep, trying to keep this masculine attached to them for financial gain here. They could have been working to try and keep this masculine with them. Now, it doesn't, I just saw the King of Fire, it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. It could just have been, you know, well, the Queen of Earth jumped out again. So let's see what, yeah. Look, they're just giving me the same cards again. <laughs> there was a Queen of Earth keeping this masculine cold and un unobtainable emotionally. She was keeping the masculine stuck in his King of King of Fire energy, in his um, Knight of Fire energy, basically. That's... Um, so I don't know what, what she was doing here, but yeah, she, it was all to keep hold of his... She was trying to keep him single for finances here. But look, Page of Fire, Strength and Sun. Now the masculine's finally getting the strength up here to move towards his happiness, to move towards his sunshine. Um, Ace of Air, and that's the truth. He is coming in here with some sort of truth as well. So we're really going now. 
Um, I'll get some Love and Relationship cards. I'll get some Metatron cards from lovely Archangel Metatron. And I've got my song deck tonight. And I've also got messages from Spirit. So I know if I've got time, I'll get some messages. Um, love messages as well. So let's see. Can I get some cards for this? <laughs> well, I did feel Archangel Sandalphon is working with you to bring in abundance. There's some sort of blessing waiting to come in here for you both. In fact, I'll get my own deck for some signs. I forgot to get that out. Um, there's definitely some sort of major blessing coming in for you both. Now I saw the leprechaun today, so definitely luck is on your side here. Definitely luck is on your side. Sunglasses, watching, looking, perception, stalking. So you could both have been um you could both have been watching each other from afar here. Or this is somebody who's who's now watching and lurking, watching you both move into this abundant energy because I keep on hearing we've only just begun. So we've only just begun, so so yeah, it says um not dealing, still upset, not having a conversation. So I feel there was a disagreement between you and this person in the past and now a conversation is going to be there's the con this conversation is going to open the door to a whole healing process. Now somebody is not showing their hand. They're not having a conversation, but I feel it's for a reason here. This person could be watching and waiting an opportunity to come in because I feel they're planning something. They're planning something. Um, this person may think you're upset as well. Yeah, this, look, I told you this person is going through some sort of metamorphosis. Um, and that is what all twin flames have to do. They all have to go through their butterfly phase and separation. That is the only way that they can come back together and ascend together. So picture, so this person is feeling really nostalgic about you, they miss you. This person wants to make memories. Soulmate, so this is saying soul connection, partnership, soul contract, life purpose together. Yeah, look, this person, I feel that, that's why I keep on hearing, we've only just begun to live. This person is saying to you, let's live. Let's live our lives. Let us, I feel like God has given this couple the opportunity to do just that as well. Like, I feel this couple are deserving of um, just a beautiful life. There's something transforming here. And I feel like God is going to give these, um, this twins, I feel really emotional as well. God has given these twins an opportunity here to really live their lives. And to be happy. Uh, yeah. Cupid's arrow. Yeah. God is saying to this couple, I'm going to give you your abundance. I'm going to give you your spiritual inheritance. You've earned it. All the past lives you've gone through to get to this point. You know, this this is powerful love energy from past lives. That's It's a love story possibly going back to biblical times. And God is saying, you guys deserve this. You deserve this love. You deserve this abundance. So that is beautiful. This person knows it as well. They're saying we've only just begun to live our lives. And I feel it doesn't matter what age you are. You know, you could be in your 70s, but you've all, your, your life might only just be beginning now. So age does not matter. I told you this person is planning something two and three of fire they're planning something here they're cutting ties with anything that does not serve them they're moving forward they definitely want to date you <laughs> the phoenix this relationship is rising from the ashes and let me tell you when the phoenix comes in it's far better than anything you could ever imagine because but in order for the phoenix to rise everything has to burn away <laughs> exactly everything has to die all the old has to be burnt into ashes in order for this phoenix to rise the phoenix cannot rise unless everything is burnt away 
so that's why there would had to be a, a, an ending here but this is an unconditional love connection unconditional love giving and receiving yeah fairness and balance affection returned so this person could have been quite cold yeah look there's there was some sort of epiphany moment caused this transformation we did see that with the tower and things like that come in and we saw the transformation card but this person is now working on themselves um you both definitely could be okay Okay, anything else please and I'll move on to our deck. Anything else from this deck please. Anything else from this deck please and thank you. Yeah, grounding and ascending. And you have to ground your energy before you can ascend. So that's interesting, they both come out together. But this person's coming in now with stability, growth, you know, they've matured. Because this connection is ascending. As I say, you're both ascending here in the most beautiful way. I mean, the phoenix in itself is a beautiful card. The butterfly. Things are evolving. Things are changing. This death card had to happen. This is a powerful, loving connection. Soulmate bond. I mean, it's just... It's beautiful. I mean, it's it definitely... I feel it's, it's definitely a twin connection as well um but it's first and foremost it's a past life soul bond <sighs> wow union and marriage soul connection everlasting love and devotion to each other paradise i'm gonna try not to cry <laughs> but and it's all happening in divine timing that's why everything had to happen the way it did. Oh, I'm trying not to be an emotional wreck. <laughs> Just that this is what happens when, when love when love gets me right in the field every time. So yeah, this is a very beautiful reading. So let's get some zodiac signs and then I will get some cards from beautiful Archangel Metatron. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> this card leapt out the deck and it was the take a leap card. They're absolutely hilarious, aren't they? So Someone is going to come in here with an olive branch and they're saying it's okay to take that leap. The divine are saying go for it. Go for it. But always go with your own internal um, gut instincts first. Listen to your own intuition. So, I mean, this message is not for everyone. Um, I would I wish it was for everyone. I really do. Can you imagine if this was for everyone? That would just be my... Oh, my goodness. But... Yeah, and I was feeling the Aries energy in the tarot, so I'll definitely take that out. So there is somebody with the arrow, arrow, <laughs> always got chocolate on the brain I have. Um, somebody with the Aries in their chart, somebody could really like an arrow bar as well. Yes, look, the energies are completely balancing out here. This is heading for Twin Flame Reunion. And look, Virgo, so Queen of Pentacles energy, or somebody could just have Virgo in the chart. Anything else, please? Any other zodiac signs? She's saying there's always a peaceful resolution. I love when this card comes out because it's just a reminder there's always a peaceful resolution that can be found, okay? Even with your enemies, there's always a peaceful resolution that can be found. And there's always a common ground. So let's see. Anything else, please? And thank you. Any other zodiac signs? definitely a blessing coming in here. I do feel like Archangel Sandalphone and Archangel Metatron are working with this couple. Oops. Again, the card of creativity has been coming out a lot lately, so there's definitely a lot of creativity flowing through the Twin Flame Collective right now. I feel like they're really getting into their own creative zones with whatever they're doing, whether they're writers, singers, poets, whatever this is. Um, there's definitely, um, sorry. hello, um, there's definitely, yeah, look, people are starting to embrace their spiritual gifts more and more and tapping into their beautiful create creativity. I mean, I feel that. I feel there's a major shift, um, 
in the energy. Definitely twin flames are coming into their creative power now. Whatever this means to you that I'm talking to. Any other signs, please? Sorry, I still, I, even after all these years, I still, I still get distracted. I was saying to someone in an email today that I used to, as a child, when orbs would come towards me, I would go and hide under my duvet as a child and think, what is that? What is that weird white sparkly thing that's always moving around my room? And now I just, they're always there and I just embrace them and say hello to them. It makes them feel seen. <laughs> so Scorpio, so somebody, we, did, we were getting a lot of um, water energy as well, the Queen of Water. Um, so definitely somebody, so we've got Aries, we've got Aries, we're going Scorpio. Oops. A beautiful positive outcome is coming in for this couple. I know I feel that. And they're saying that as well. So Libra. So somebody definitely. So remember we got the King of Air as well. Um, somebody could definitely have some Libra in their chart. This is the card of whatever you do at this point, you're going to get the same outcome. So whatever happens here in this connection is going to be exactly the same outcome. And I just saw the Abundance card wanted to jump out, but I let it come out naturally. Yeah, so... So yeah, Libra, Virgo, Scorpio and Aries. Just like it's one of each. So a water sign, air sign, air sign and fire sign. Oh, that's cool. The one of each of the zodiacs. Okay, anything else? A new star approaches. 10, 10. This is a new cycle about to begin here. A new cycle for this couple. A new romantic cycle is about to begin. Which is great. It's great news. Now let's see. Anything else? Anything else, please? Anything else? <laughs> of course, I just like to give me one last, one last card. Love yourself first and foremost. Self-love is the key to all twin flame connections. So self-love, keep going, keep moving forward, keep loving on yourself first. Um, I think there's a few people that, when I'm only just getting to check my emails now from the last few weeks, but a few people have got in touch with me saying, oh, you said my personal feelings for me. And when I try to contact them and stuff like that, and there's been a few people who have emailed me the similar thing. Um, but you have to remember when you get when you get your reading and I tell you this person will express their feelings to you, they will come in and express their emotions to you, you cannot rush it. You cannot rush the process. So if you then go looking for them to tell you their feelings, they're going to shut you down because that's effectively you chasing them and they're going to shut you down or block you or or be cold to you or something, they're going to reject you. You have to let your masculine or feminine, whoever is the runner of the connection, they have to be the ones to come back and express themselves to you. You cannot force them to tell you how they feel. Just because I've said in a, in, on a personal message to you, this, this, is what, this is what the possible outcome could be, this is how your person feels, this is how it's going to happen. You have to let that come and naturally and trust me and many people have had messages from me things have started to play out the way they're supposed to but you have to just let let everything marinate let things happen the way they're supposed to according to divine timing okay um i haven't replied to everyone's emails who have said these things to me yet but i will get around to replying to you i'm just saying that you you have to just let things go with the flow and happen and divine timing because nothing can be rushed and you can make your person confess their feelings to you if they're not ready to yet that's the truth so but my main point there was just keep focusing on yourselves don't worry about when your person is going to come in and confess their love to you just know they are coming in to express their love to you and just move on and keep focusing on yourself okay so can I get some cards, please, Archangel Metatron, for this couple? What guidance do you have for this couple and what can you tell me about this couple right now and their ascension process? 
and any guidance you have for them on their journey right now. So conquering fear, start today. And all this blue is Archangel Michael's colours for me. And Archangel Michael is the angel who helps you conquer your fears and gives you confidence to step forward, knowing that you can achieve anything, you can do anything without having fear anymore. So I feel this masculine, I, I told you right from the start, this masculine had some sort of fear of being left alone or some fear of abandonment or fear of loving someone or letting someone get too close to them because um, they didn't want to, to get hurt. And I feel this person is too scared. So blessings and thanks. Abundant universe. Now I told you this couple have a lot of blessings coming in and Archangel Sandalfon could be working with this couple right now to open them up to this abundance and blessings. But this is universe. This is the universe bringing something beautiful in for this couple. This masculine definitely had to overcome fear. So communication, speak up and be heard. Now this tells me there is communication coming in from this masculine very, very soon. But I also feel this is about the masculine having to express himself to you. I do, I mean, we got the ace of air out twice. So I do feel this masculine needs to tell you his, I think part of his... Part of his healing process could be having to open up his feelings to you, feminine, and actually tell you, I'm scared of losing you. I love you so much. I'm scared of losing you. Um, and I think that's why this person picked someone who was just a lust-based connection with, the, you know, the, the Queen of Earth with the Knight of Wands energy. Um, so pink, self-love and nurture. Yeah, we saw that in um, the other deck as well. This person is definitely having to nurture their inner child a bit. They're having to focus on themselves for a while. If you haven't heard from your person um, and you feel that like this is your reading, just know they're going through this metamorphosis phase. They are working heavily with the Archangels and Ascended Masters. They're definitely healing and working on their self-care, overcoming their fears. They are getting ready to communicate. They, they know that their life is only going to truly begin when they come back to you. Now, this, if this person may have already reached out, you could already be planning a date. But if not, it's going to happen very soon. <laughs> I'm so distracted. It's going to happen very soon. Let me see. Anything else, please, Archangel Metatron, you can tell me about this connection, this couple I'm picking up on. So, yeah, karma, there was definitely karma that had to be played out here. So it says, untying the knots. Now, there was this, there was definitely some sort of karmic relationship that this person had to shut down the contract with as well. <coughs> That's why I always say to, say to you all, don't let yourself become the third party because you're, that is you effectively... Um, muscling in, which I know sounds crazy because this is other half of your soul, right? But if you allow yourself to be the third party of your twin's marriage or life partnership or with their, you know, baby mom or whatever, that can be you then um, muscling in on their contract. So what happens is this person has definitely had to untie the knots of a karmic situation they've had to clear out karma from past lives now both both of the twins have to clear out their karma from past lives because they can't ascend together into this beautiful abundant energy from the universe unless they both cleared out their karma so i feel both of these twins have now done that they've now untied the knots they've cleared out the past life karma they had to and now they're about to reap the rewards. Uh, that's what I feel. Yes. Look. Joy and happiness, yellow. I mean, need I say more? This is collaboration. This is joy, happiness, contentment. This couple are about to reap the rewards from the universe, from the divine. 
I'm feeling so emotional for them. That's just so beautiful. Really so happy for this couple. Can I get anything else on this couple, please? So it says, review and reflection, time out is needed. So this is the energy I feel the masculine's in right now. Definitely time out was needed for this metamorphosis phase, for the masculine to heal, nurture himself, to overcome his fears of abandonment with you, Divine Feminine, because I just feel he loved you too much. He was scared that he would lose you. And that was, this is the energy I've been feeling from the start of this reading, this one. <laughs> wake up call listen and take note so the divine woke this masculine up with a wake up call that's Archangel Gabriel blowing the horn there and <coughs> oops I always start to cough at this point I think it's I don't know if it's just because I need to drink more water or something but um, yeah this this masculine got a wake up call he definitely did and I think it's when he he hurt you, Divine Feminine. That's when his wake-up call came in and that's probably when his karma hit him as well. But it's all been worth it because you're getting to this point now. Joy, happiness, an abundant universe. Thank you, Metatron. Yeah, look, healing, pause, pause to receive so look this masculine has gone through his wake up call here and now look he's receiving this divine healing so this is all the archangels could be helping this masculine right now so he's got archangel michael helping him overcome his fears of abandonment he could he could have archangel metatron helping open up his crown chakra his third eye um, he could have Archangel Sandalphon helping him open up to his blessings and he could have Archangel Raphael, Archangel Uriel um, helping him heal as well. I mean, he's definitely got a lot of divine assistance here, without a doubt. Um, he, I mean, Archangel Gabriel could be helping him with his throat chakra as well to open up and communicate easier. So let's see. Anything else, please, before I move on, please, Archangel Metatron? Anything else before I move on? Please, no, thank you. Oh. <laughs> so, Blue, Madonna and Mothering. I told you this masculine is definitely going through some sort of... He's having to, like, nurture and care for his inner child somewhat. Definitely, if past lives, he's been orphaned many times. Both of the twins could have abandonment issues, but it's just saying love. So love, relationships and harmony. I mean, come on. Joy and happiness, love and harmony. I mean, an abundance. This couple have got it all going on. They're so, they're so blessed and so lucky. They really are. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Vader. <Nathan. laughs> and they're so magical. Believe in the magic. This is one of my favourite cards. No, this is one of my favourite cards in all my decks because I've always believed in magic. I've always loved lilac as well. Purple and lilacs have always been colours I've been drawn to my entire life. Now it explains it with Archangel Metatron, but this is definitely in the hint my name, Violet. Um, I've always loved the colour Violet as well. But look at all these purples here. But I've I've always believed in magic. And I can tell you, magic is real. The magic is all around us. Every single day, magic surrounds us. So lilac, higher, higher, sorry, higher realms and magic. So this couple are completely opening up to their higher wisdom and knowledge and all the magic that comes with that. All the beautiful magic that comes with that. And trust me, there's a lot of beautiful magic that comes from that. So the transformation cards in the bottom. So this masculine is definitely transforming right now. And I think you are going to be amazed at how different the energy of this masculine when they come in here to communicate to you. 
exactly why they made the decision they made. Because I think you're good. I think it's going to be such an emotional conversation for you both. Like I feel, <coughs> I definitely feel a lot of tears, um, from both of you. So what time are we on? Let's get a quick message from Spirit. I'll get a song card. And <coughs> okay, another five minutes in. Can I get a message from Spirit for this couple? What guidance is coming through for Spirit, please, for this couple? getting it cheap out. Um, can I get some messages coming through please? Um, any guidance from spirit? Hope. Your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out. So your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. So that's beautiful. That's the, um, this masculine's past over loved ones are actually helping him from the spirit world, giving him strength and support. So every time they feel this masculine starting to lose hope a wee bit or starting to give up a wee bit, the, the, all his past over loved ones in spirit are coming in to give him some support. So now this can be from various past lives, doesn't have to be from this lifetime, this is like past life guides. Um, so, <laughs> reach out, yeah. so reach out, we know you're reaching out right now for help due to a current situation, support is support. Now didn't I see this masculine has a lot of support from the divine but also clearly from the spirit world as well. Um, support is so much about the physical act of accepting help where offered as it is about the emotional benefits and learning that it is truly okay to accept support however it's presented to you. So this masculine could definitely be ready to reach out to you feminine I feel as well. This is about him reaching out to the spirit world and asking for help and guidance. He could possibly be connecting to his spirit guides right now, his archangels around him asking for help he's definitely reaching out but i feel he could be ready to reach out to you feminine and i mean look see this hand reaching out here with all this green around the sort of heart area so this tells me that the spirit world is helping this masculine heart heal here in some way as well um but yeah reach out so Nature, we get this quite a lot. This is a time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer. Your mind, body and soul need nourishment, energy, revitalisation and strength. Nature has much to offer to take the time out to connect and spend some quality time outdoors. So this card comes out nearly every time I use this deck because it's so important. I mean, nature is the earth's natural healing. Um, you'd be amazed... <laughs> at how, how different, you know, how, if you actually spend some time in nature, it's amazing how different you feel when you return home. And I'm sure a lot of people agree with me on that one in the comments. You can actually feel invigorated and healed and emotionally more balanced when you've been out in nature, surrounded by animals and things. This is what I feel this masculine needs to do in order to help him heal he needs to be vulnerable here with his divine feminine and express to her he has a fear of losing her um so vulnerability this is confirmation that you're seeking to you're seeking to trade into the unknown unfamiliar territory where decisions are are based more on intuition than on rationality don't let fear hold you back any longer or allow a misguided, a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. So this masculine has has had a fear of being vulnerable with you, feminine. That's we have we have seen he has fears about opening up to you, but I think he has fears about being vulnerable and letting you know that he's scared to lose you. That's how much he loves you. So. Um, find your centre. <clears throat> your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful, 
that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you. This is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? So this is about just finding, this is about centering yourself, finding your own center, same balance within yourself and actually taking time out to breathe and just be there for yourself, which I know sounds really strange, but especially for people who spend all their time looking after other people and trying to help other people, you need to take time out for yourself as well and check in on your own needs and stuff. Oh, the card's already coming out. Check in on your own needs and what what do you need at that moment? Do you, What support do you need? So you do have to, this masculine is definitely having to do a bit more of that as well. <laughs> I don't want to read that one out. Um, okay. Yeah, I did feel that I felt you couple were, this was a couple who was at loggerheads with each other a bit. Um, definitely a lot of passion going on here. Um, <coughs> oh, this person. Then they're going to have to, going to have to get their act together <laughs> to come in and talk to you. Okay, one more please. That was crazy. This card literally came out and stood up right like this. So I'll take one more. One more. Thank you. Okay. Right. Well, I wish I hadn't asked for one more. <laughs> right. I wish I hadn't asked for one more. Um, Because I, I... This is what I was feeling during the shower spread. There was someday doing jiggery pokery on this masculine. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, whoever that was. Black Magic Woman by Carlos Santana. There's a femme fatale on the prowl. This could be you or the person on your mind that's dealing with someone like this. When I hear this song, it makes me think of the karmic feminine, a woman or man in feminine energy that will stop at nothing to get what they want, even if it means using magic to do so. Magic does not always mean spells. It can be manipulation, seduction, gossip, slander or lies. So this person could just have been using sexual um, motivation on your person, but it's obviously not working anymore because I'll wait till I tell you what the rest of the cards are. Um, so Stand By Me by Benny King. So it says this card, this could be you or someone around you at this time, but someone needs your support and understanding. When this card appears in your reading, it's a sign that you may need to lean on your friends or family at this time for extra support. You could be dealing with grief, financial issues, a breakup or other hardships and this card is telling you not to be afraid to ask for help. Maybe a close friend, work colleague or family member really needs your help at this time. So I feel, remember we've got the per your person's having to be vulnerable here, they're having to reach out and that's another card of reaching out and just getting support. So I do feel your person is going to come in here and they are going to be vulnerable and tell you they're really struggling maybe to, you know, overcome their fears around love or something. So I would, this, you and this person have a beautiful future here together. They're planning to take some big steps towards you. They're planning some sort of, um, well, we saw the cards that come out, didn't we? The, the, the proposal card and things. So just let this person move towards you in a natural way. Yeah, patience by Guns and Roses. Patience is a virtue. Possess it if you can. Seldom found in women, never found in men. True story. <laughs> patience is something we, we rarely possess because life does not allow time for it. Patience is actually one of the greatest qualities we can have. It creates contentment and serenity within our lives. A little patience can go a very long way. So there has been a lot of patience needed in this connection because I say your person has been at the two of wands, two of swords, um, afraid to lose you, afraid to love you because they're afraid to lose you. They lost you anyway and it put them through a tower. Um, feel my love. This card is a sign that either you or the person you're thinking of is deeply in love but may be stuck in an hour relationship or karmic situation right now. This could mean a love triangle or an unrequited love scenario from the past. The position with the card, the po sorry, the positives with this card is that love is strong in this situation but decisions need to be made in order for the connection to fully manifest between you and the person on your mind. 
have hope for true love always wins in the end so this person basically although they they were in a different another situation with this queen of pentacles energy um they're just saying they, they never they've they've always loved you they've always loved you they want you to feel their love um this card came out before that one so i'll read this one first i don't want to fight no more tina turner r.i.p tina if you've been in a no contact situation with your person then this card means they want to come out of separation and talk things through just what i said whether you had a falling out or a minor disagreement with this person or even a full-blown divorce they believe it's time to extend an olive branch we got the olive branch as well I'll, I'll tell you when you find forgiveness in your heart it's like a soothing balm for your soul talking things over can be the first step towards healing the wounds from the past now i've been saying since the start of this reading a conversation is going to bring in this beautiful blessings and abundance you both have to talk this through into the mystic by van morrison so this card is a sign that you're you are experiencing a spiritual awakening your spiritual side is being explored and deepened with every passing day maybe you have met a, a soulmate or could be about to or soon or sorry or about to or some life-changing event has caused you to go through a spiritual awakening however you get, got to this point just embrace the moment and let the universe and your angels guide you to where you're supposed to be in this lifetime. So this is the energy the masculine's in now. They have gone through an awakening and they're now just letting the archangels guide them and their passed on loved ones and things guide them to where they're meant to be. Horny. <laughs> if you get this card during a read, there is an exp there's no explanation necessary. All there is left to say here is enjoy. <laughs> Things are going to heat up very quickly in your current relationship or with the person on your mind. For some, if you're looking for more substance and commitment from this person, then this card could be um could also signify this connection is is based solely on physical attraction and nothing more. But I don't believe that is the the I don't believe that is the case with this connection because we did get a lot of ten of cups, two of cups. This person does love you. They're just very horny about you as well. And the last card that came out, Spirit only gives me this card when it's really time to celebrate. So celebrate by Cool and the Gang. When you get this card, it is really a time to celebrate. It could be a proposal, ah, my goodness, a new job, a wedding or a pregnancy, a new home or just an important event that changes your life forever. Get your party outfit planned, dust off your dancing shoes, prepare to let your hair down and enjoy this moment. Whatever good news you have coming in, it will give you every reason to celebrate. So there we go. And I'll get a quick, what time are we on? Okay, I'll get a quick, um, no communication message from your person. Um, and then I'll close out this reading. And if you're still here, thank you for waiting with me this long. I truly appreciate it. So can I get, um, a, can I get a no communication card? Bad advice from friends to leave you out in the cold. So this person could have taken some bad advice from like, this king of air. Um, or he was the king of air who was just been a bit cold towards you. But definitely somebody could have um, given them some bad advice. They could have listened to them people. The grass was not green. Was, the grass was not greener. You are right. You were right. So this person may have thought that they had more options. They could have thought they weren't going to commit to you because they had other options, but the grass was not greener. Um, that's what they had to learn the hard way. I want to wake up to your beautiful smile every day. So this person wants to, yeah, this person wants a new cycle with you of just being happy and joyous together. We have a divine mission and purpose together. Now, this card's coming out a lot because finally, masculines, finally, masculines, you're getting on board. You're getting online. So my guilt is weighing me down and keeping me awake at night. So this person feels guilty for the way they treated you. And I do believe they got their karma for that, um, for sure. Will you throw me a life raft? I'm drowning in regret. So this person, we did see there was a lot of water on this table earlier. I mean, I thought I was going to have to get a life raft at one point. It was very, very watery. Um, so this person really, 
really does regret the way they treated you in the past. Everything and everyone hurts me. I thought you would too. Oh no, sorry, that's a different card. Everything and everyone reminds me of you, sorry. So this person is getting reminders of you. Now this will be from the universe. The universe likes to not let someone forget about their divine counterpart very easily. Let's get away just the two of us. So this person wants to spend some quality time with you. They do, and it's not just because they're horny. They actually just want, I feel they just want to gaze into your eyes for a wee bit. I betrayed your trust, but I want to make things right again. So this person knows they betrayed your trust. They know they've hurt you. And they know they've got a, a lot of work to do. Definitely a lot of work to do. What else does this person want them to know? I am forever yours, my darling. So they're saying, no matter what you think right now, they are yours forever. They're yours. I am forever yours. So they're, they're not interested in anyone else. It's only you for them. I sabotage the only good thing in my life. So this person is a self-saboteur when it comes to, and I, I felt that from the start, this person sabotages good relationships because they're, they're scared of losing the person. So they think if they sabotage them, the person can't abandon them like they've been orphaned in other lifetimes. I think your love, the, your love overwhelmed this person. And that's probably why they just ran. They just ran. I am in debt and don't want to rely on you for finance or be a burden to you. So this person definitely could be dealing with some sort of financial hardship, which is very common for the twin flame runner because they run from their twin flame. Then they end up with financial problems. They end up having to deal with so much karma. They end up losing a lot of money, X, Y, and Z. Health problems, lose money. It's all just karma playing out. So this person's definitely... Um, they feel quite alone and isolated right now, but that's when they're alone and isolated, that is when they get the most support from the divine. So you have to let that play out. We have to have those moments of being alone and isolated in order. That's when God does most work with people is when they're feeling alone and isolated. Um, you taught me how to love myself again and you. So this person is now understanding you taught them how to love. I need to heal from my childhood trauma. This person definitely could have been abandoned by their parents in this lifetime as well. Will you ever look at me that way again? This person, as I, as I said, this person, when they said, let's get away together, I do feel they just want to spend time gazing into your eyes. And I don't know why I feel that. They just want to sit and just smile and look into each other's eyes for a while. As I say, yes, there's definitely passion, but I know you are my twin flame. So this person knows you are their that I know you are my twin flame um, and soulmate. I'm waving a white flag. I need your forgiveness. <laughs> this person is coming in. Definitely, they, they regret so much. So let's see. Last cards out. I'm about, I'm about to propose to you. Seriously? The amount of, oh my goodness, the amount of proposals that's going to be happening this year. I cannot wait for it. Too much drama around me, I'm trying to protect you. So this person definitely has been dealing with some drama from outside sources here who definitely have been trying to keep them stuck. Please be patient with me, I am healing. So we got the patience card as well. This person is telling you they are coming back. They're coming back. They're planning and preparing as we speak. They're coming in. This, I mean, if this reading hasn't told you all you need to know about your person, then I don't know what will. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I, I feel the love. I don't know about you, but I feel the love. And um, this, I just feel this spring and summer is going to be just beautiful. There's going to be so many proposals and twin flame unions. And it's all going to start from tomorrow with that. Um, new moon in Aries, this solar eclipse is just going to, I'm telling you, it's going to cause a beautiful wave of positivity for the Twin Flame Collective and I'm so excited. I'm so here for it. I just cannot, I cannot wait. <clears throat> I feel love and healing through our soul bond. I'm terrified of opening up emotionally to you. So this person has struggled to be vulnerable, we know that, but they are going to be coming in and being vulnerable to you. Look, which is this card literally just slid out the deck on its own across my table. 
I'm about to propose to you. Will you say yes? This person definitely, definitely, definitely. I mean, the song, We've Only Just Begun. And the other one, um, You're Everything I've Prayed For or Wished For. I can't remember. You are so beautiful. And We've Only Just Begun. So they're probably two songs, I think, maybe out about the same time. So this might give you an idea of this person's taste in music or something. Uh, maybe I'm talking rubbish, I don't know. <laughs> They're both before my time, that's all I can tell you. Um, so anyway, oh no, in fact, one of them might not be. <laughs> I just realised that. So thank you everyone for watching, especially for as long as it goes on like this. Um, but thank you so much for, for watching this long, supporting this channel, all the love you bring to this channel. Thank you everyone for the love and support. I'm truly blown away. You, you really are a wonderful bunch. And I feel like one of the luckiest YouTubers right now. I really do. I've got such lovely people that watch my videos and I'm so grateful for you all. And I say my prayers for you all as well. I pray so much that everything good comes in for all of you. And I send so much love, light and healing out to you wherever you need it as well. So take care, everyone. And I will catch up with you tomorrow. Happy New Moon and Aries, wherever you are in the world. Bye.